How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. We're going to be working on the blast furnace. Um, I'm going to show you what's happened to this blast furnace since we uh, built it and what's going on with it and what we're going to be doing to it. Uh, we're going to be putting in our uh, burner. We're going to maybe even try to light it up. I'm not sure yet. Uh, this thing's been set in about 15 days now and it's still not dry. I know it's not dry because the bottom is actually pushing up. These brick are actually pushing it down and pushing the center up. So I probably should have gave some more time to that bottom so it would dry. And I'm going to show you what it's doing. Uh, we're going to be putting our drain plug in. We have a drain there we're going to be putting in. We're going to clean up the outside of it a little bit and I'll show you that lid we made. So let me show you what's happening here. Okay, check it out. The bottom down there is actually pushing up. These brick are pushing down and pushing the bottom up because we had that bottom down. And I've been pushing it down trying to keep me a flat spot in there so I could put my crucible on it. i um, hoping this guy's going to work out. Um, you know, I should have maybe put some more of them stone in that concrete to help hold it up, but I didn't. And there's really no turning back now. But you can actually see we had a bigger lip on here. And it's gotten a lot smaller. It's, it's sunk. They have sunk down in. So we're going to go with it. We're going to see how it works. We can't change it now. We can't take that back out of there. And there's no way of uh, supporting it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get to cleaning the outside of this guy up. And then we're going to be welding on our <clears throat> our drain down here. We got, we're going to use this as a drain. We're going to be welding on a piece of three-quarter inch pipe. I'm going to cut this pipe in half. And we're going to be sticking it up on there and welding it on there so we have a, a drain for this thing in case something happens to that crucible. And then we're going to get the outside of it cleaned up and painted and see how she turns out. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get the wire brush in this thing down because it does look awful. It's got a lot of flaking rust and paint on it. So we're going to get it cleaned down and then uh, see what we can get welded on it. Okay, she's looking good now. Got all that nasty stuff off of there. Now we're going to get her wiped down we'll do some grinding around these guys and go ahead and get some stuff welded on there. Alright, we got a piece of three quarter inch pipe here. I'm just going to cut off. I'm going to cut it about a half inch or so away from the threads. And we're going to weld this onto the bottom of the tank so we'll have a drain plug in case a uh, crucible breaks or something. We'll be able to unscrew this thing and uh, drain out the metal from the bottom of the tank or the, the furnace. So what we're going to do now is just get her cut off and get her welded on. Alright, we got a little piece here cut off. We're just going to weld this on here. Then we're going to get us a little cap to put on this so we can unscrew it. If we need to drain any molten metal out of the bottom of it, that's just in case a crucible will, you know, malfunction and break. Then we'll have a way to drain the fluid out of there. So we're going to go ahead and tack, get this thing welded on here. Got us a drain now. That's going to be let's drain everything out. It'll set an angle down, which works out pretty good. I just hope my bottom don't keep coming up. It's still soft in there. I think I'm going to have to get this thing on the wood burner and get it dried out. Just fire up the wood burner and let it dry because it's just it's taken too long to dry. It's really wet yet. That down in that middle. Is really still wet. I, I don't even know if I'd want to take a chance on building a fire in this thing yet. So uh, I'm going to show you guys the lid. You haven't seen the lid since it's been done. <clears throat> I'm 
back you guys on here. Hey, look, check this out. This is the lid that turned out really nice, but it's still real wet yet too. So, and it fits on there really nice. It uh, fits right up on there pretty cool looking. I mean, as long as it works, that's the main thing. Now I'm gonna be putting a couple handles on the sides of this, up the sides, and that's so, I'll have something to hold on to, to, to move this thing around, because it's super heavy. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get on the handles, a couple handles up here. Like I said, something to pick this guy up with. And uh, then we're going to shoot it down with some paint. Well, I think what I'm going to do is i got some old rebar. I'm just going to cut a couple pieces of rebar, throw it in the forge, and bend this out a couple handles and weld them on the ends. I think that would be just fine for this thing. So, that's what we're going to do. Fire up the forge and bend us some metal. I got me a couple nice pieces of rebar bent here. We're going to make our handles. Uh, like I said, I'm not going for pretty. I'm just going for it to work. We just uh, going to cut them off and get them welded onto that thing. All right, we're going to put these on here, and I'm going to put it off almost lined up with this guy here because I want this to go over the edge of my cart because I'm going to have the other propane tank right here, the one that's filling it. That's just for storing it. Uh, storing it away in my garage. So I'm going to put this one probably about right in here and I mark it down a couple inches. And we're going to tilt the top of it out just a little bit. I'm going to tilt the top out a little bit and weld it on there. That don't look too bad so we're just going to go ahead and weld that up on there with the top out just a little bit and get the other one welded straight across from it okay we got our handles on there now uh they're a little bit tight i should have leaned this one out just a little bit more this one's okay but i should have leaned it out a little more but what's done is done i might heat that up there and bend that one out a little bit because you got to get the lid on there it's a little bit tight I started chipping down in here to try to get the uh, that nozzle back up into that stone a little more, but I think I did okay. Check it out. I'll show you what I got inside. There's the the burner. We got it in, but it's back in there pretty decent now. In the crucible, this is the small or this is the number two, and that's probably all I'll be using in there is the number two. I might get me another number two. But I will not be using that number four. Uh, some people told me that it was way too big, so we're not going to use it. We're just going to use a number two because I think that's about all we'd need. Um, maybe even a number one. But you can see the bottom, how it's pushed up. And I keep trying to make a level spot in here for this crucible. So you guys that are building these things, don't make the same mistake. Make sure that bottom's good and dry before you put the brick on because they're going to slide down. Kind of messed it up a little bit, but I can't turn it back now. It's taken so long for this thing to dry. Even where I was chiseling down in there around that thing, it's still wet concrete. So we're going to get this thing set on the, uh, we're going to get it painted, get it set up here. And then we're going to stick it on the wood burner. We're going to let this thing heat up on its own. It's got to get dry somehow. I'm going to grab the lid and show you. It once if you put it straight down in it bumps that handle there You just got to put it in just a little bit of an angle and then set it down on top so It sets on there nice though. I mean, I think it's gonna work out pretty good So we're gonna shoot this down with some good heat resistant paint and then we're gonna get it to dry We're gonna get it drying so we can fire this thing up and give it a try Thank you. 
Okay, you guys, you can see we got the paint on it. It's all back together, but it's got a lot of drying to do. Well, that's about all I can do to this thing until it dries up good. There's not much more I can do. It's just basically giving it time. I do have a question for you guys out there that do have the uh, furnaces. The crucible, I noticed uh, I got a paper with it and it said to season it first. I was wondering, do you have to season it and why do you season it? Uh, so if you guys got an answer for me, uh, I'd like to know. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Till next time. Time to let it set and dry. That's all I can do.